back here, you mongrel! I'll teach you to steal from me! Yes! I lost him! Now we just need to... Oh. Ray, now look what you did. It's all ruined. I ought to make you pay for every lost loaf, you thieving little. I'm sorry for stealing. I'm just so hungry. And I knew I couldn't afford it on my own. Ah, listen, kid, I get it. You're poor, but nothing in this life comes for free. If you want to be anything in this world, you got to make money. A lot of it. You understand? Is that so you can help other people? Ah, you'd think so. But the more cash you make, the greedier you get. Trust me. Well, one day when I'm rich, I'll give away tons of money for free. Heh, <laughs> whatever you say, kid. But if I ever catch you robbing my bakery again, I'll have the cops lock you away for good. Now scram! From that point forward, a young Jimmy Donaldson knew what his mission in life was. To earn as much money as possible, and to make the world a better place than before. But it's not easy making money, especially as a kid. At first, he tried delivering newspapers. But his clientele weren't too thrilled with his services. Then he decided to start washing cars. Almost every family's got one of those. Unfortunately, the customers all seemed to prefer his direct competition. Eventually, though, he found something that worked. 25 cents? In this economy? Better be pretty great. It is, I promise! Wow. All right, Mr. Businessman, this is actually really tasty. You make this all by yourself? Sure did! And if this goes well, someday I'll have my own chain of restaurants with burgers, fries, and cookies. Maybe I'll even make my own chocolate bar, too. Wow, you're quite the money-earning machine. What a beast! You know what? I was a young entrepreneur once. Let me help you out. How much for the whole pitcher? Uh, $20? Here you go. How in the world did you get all that money? <laughs> I'd have to sell lemonade by the barrel to make that much cash. Ah, uh, that's easy. It's this new thing called YouTube. You make one popular video, and you're basically an instant millionaire. Whoa, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, good luck to you then, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I kind of like that. With a new objective and a new name, Mr. Beast was determined to become a YouTube star. Only problem was, he was still broke. To make matters worse, he still didn't know exactly what kind of channel he wanted to be. All the most popular videos at the time were filled with hilarious comedy sketches or new parodies, but Mr. Beast was just a kid. He didn't know all about that stuff. So he decided to make his channel about something all kids enjoy. Video games. Most of the money he had saved up as a kid went straight towards buying a computer, one barely even powerful enough to play games at all. He had to go dumpster diving to find the rest of the accessories. Now there was only one thing left he needed to begin his journey. An actual game. And there was only one that made perfect sense. Aw oh man, all the copies of Minecraft are sold out. Dang, really? I was looking to get that game too. It looks awesome. You know what other game looks great? Call, Call of Duty, Duty Black, Black Ops 2. 2! Did we just become best friends? I think so. And with that, the Mr. Beast channel gained its first subscriber, and Jimmy gained a lifelong friend. But he was far from an overnight success story. Mr. Beast's early gaming videos struggled to find significant viewers. The Let's Play space was already being dominated by huge stars like Markiplier and PewDiePie who are both still extremely popular to this day. So he had to shake things up. Instead of exclusively just playing video games, he started talking about how much Let's Player YouTubers made. He learned how YouTube's back end worked, what the top earner got paid, and how they were able to gather views. At the time, he thought this was all just to make content, but this research all led him to eventually shift the direction of his channel forever. Chris, I got an idea. I'm going to count to 10,000 on camera. Wait, what? I think I figured out how I'm going to be famous. I'm going to start doing all these ridiculous challenges no one else would even think to attempt. 
There's a reason no one wants to count to 10,000, Jimmy. It'd take forever. I'm talking multiple hours here. Exactly. Mr. Beast was right. It might have been a long, mind-numbing crawl, but his virtual stunt started gathering attention. A lot of attention. Before long, he not only was getting millions of views on YouTube, he even had news outlets taking notice. Mr. Beast had finally done it. He had made a viral YouTube video, one popular enough to bring in serious money. And here, he was presented with a choice. With the money he'd earned, he could start spending it all on himself, buying fancy clothes and jewelry, or he could give it back to those in need, like he'd promised he would all those years ago. Well, one day when I'm rich, I'll give away tons of money for free. For Mr. Beast, the choice was simple. He was going to be kind. He gave away money to those in need, tipping pizza delivery guys and Uber drivers, donating to small Twitch streams, all while he continued performing wild challenges that gathered tens of millions of views from around the world. Soon, his challenges started to become so extreme that he needed a fully dedicated space. And with a new space, he needed to assemble a team. There was Chris the meme god, of course, then Chandler Hollow, then Jake the Viking, who later got replaced by the fan favorite, Carl Jacobs. In many ways, it was just the beginning. Everything about his channel, or at this point, channels, kicked into overdrive. The challenges, the thumbnails, the production value, Mr. Beast really had hit his stride. By late 2020, it seemed as if Mr. Beast had done it all. Eaten golden pizza, spent 50 hours in solitary confinement, created the world's most dangerous escape room. He was at the top of his game. Then, a new trend appeared. One that would spark the biggest video in Mr. Beast's career, Squid Game. He decided to remake the popular show in its entirety, spending millions of dollars on production. It took months to complete, but in the end, it was all worth it. Hundreds of contestants slowly got whittled down game after game, from red light, green light, through glass stepping stones, leaving only a select few left to compete for the ultimate prize of $456,000. Eventually, contestant 079 won the final game of musical chairs, claiming the pot. But the real winner was Mr. Beast, not only for building one of the most incredible sets imaginable, but for racking up his most viral video yet. So far, his Squid Game video has gained over 300 million views and has remained the biggest video on his channel. It inspired some of his newer content as well, like recreating the Willy Wonka factory. Mr. Beast has accomplished quite a lot in his young career breaking viewership records, launching his own chain of burger restaurants, and donating millions of dollars to charity for Team C's and Team Trees. There doesn't seem like there's much left for him to strive for. But even though he's climbed the peak of the YouTube mountaintop, we all know that with Jimmy, not even the sky is the limit.